What's up guys, it's your favorite tour guide here, back at it again with another island tour. It is that time of year again, spring is among us, among us, up upon us? Spring is among us, spring is upon us. Anyways, spring is here and keeping up with the traditions, typically around this time of year, I love to pick a spring core island tour. So today we are gonna be doing just that. We are going to be touring the island of Bluebell. Here is the map. Dream address is down below if you wanna follow along or check it out after the video. This island is such a vibe bestie. So grab yourself a tea, a coffee, grab a snack, light a candle, light your incense, plug in your Himalayan salt lamp, and let's get into it. Oh my gosh, the blue butterfly on the left coming in. It cannot be more on theme. Look at this stunning, stunning entrance. Lolly, what are you doing in there? Madame, are you okay? I really like the color of these bikes. I'm thinking of getting one myself in real life. But an e-bike though, because ya girl is lazy. Anyways, we are heading back up to resident services. I'll show you this is where we came from. Here's Luna. Hello, Miss Ma'am. Always happy to see me, I can just tell. And we have a few gifts here right in front of resident services. Just gonna pick these up real quick and then we'll see what we got. I don't know how I missed this. Ooh, we have a blue balloon and a flimsy watering can, okay. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of flowers and farms on this island, so we're gonna be doing a lot of watering. This island is gonna be putting us to work. Ooh, we have a do-rag, some denim overalls, and some comfy sandals. Let's get changed and see what we look like. <laughs> I'm wearing everything but the kitchen sink at this point. The socks and sandals combo is killing me. But you know what? This is what we're given. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna rock it. Oh, I thought I could go in here. Can I not? Okay, nope, that's not an option, but this is right in front of resident services. How pretty. And right below, we have two villager homes. One of them is currently home and the other is not. This villager actually looks like they haven't been home in a while. Look at the newspaper. Daisy, where have you been, miss? I like her front yard though. It's very cute. Okay, let's check out this house. Whoa, this is nice. I got so bored waiting, I almost drifted off to sleep. But like, falling asleep in a dream is just too weird. Yeah, you're telling me. I hate when I fall asleep in dreams. Oh, this is cool. You don't see Hollybush Garden often. And right below Maddie and Daisy's house is the beach. It wasn't decorated, so we'll just head back up this way. And we'll take a left here. And this takes us right back to the beginning. If we head up this way, as- Oh, <gasps> we have matching outfits. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look at us. I mean, if the resident representative themselves is wearing this outfit, it's obviously a cool outfit. But anyways, here is the museum. So, so, so stunning. Oops, ran into a bush there. I'm really loving the pop of blue everywhere. Oh, let's see what's down here. It looks like this might lead to something. Okay, so it leads us to this well. And we all know that this is the well that we use to hide all of our secrets. Okay, sorry, so sorry. This is a spring core island tour, not a Halloween tour. <gasps> What's this? Cotton candy, yes. Wait, is it blue? Oh my god, it is, it's so cute. Oops, I, ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, and now we have that bubble on the top corner and there's no way of getting rid of it. I need to find a tree to dig up or a rock to smash or something. We can't have that in the corner. It's gonna bother me. <gasps> Ooh, Olive, your house is so cute. Whoa, what is this? What are we eating here, Olive? You have the cutest house. It's no five-star resort, but feel free to relax here as long as you like. I'll try my best to be a soothing presence. Of course, not so soothing that you fall asleep. She's so humble. I love her. Let's see who is Olive's neighbor. I love that this connects. Oh, Oh, Poncho, that is cute. I love the blue storefronts here. These two actually have a really nice yard. I like that this part connects. Oh, sorry, maybe I shouldn't be running on their flowers. Looks like it's a dead end here in front of Poncho's house. We'll just head back this way and let's... Where do we go here? Ah, okay, so museum is there, so we'll turn this way. I love how lush this island is. It's also very green. I wonder which month this is set in. Okay, wow, beautiful. 
We are here at our first resident rep's house. I love the storefronts here. It actually looks really natural against the house. Let's check out the front yard first before we go inside. We have a cute seating area for two. Oh my god, even the candle is blue. I didn't even know this candle came in blue. Oh my god, the details. And then we have a cute little mushroom farm down here. Let's see what's on this side. I see this resident rep and myself have something in common. I too also love potatoes. <gasps> Wait, no, this is so smart. Let me see if I can get an angle. Sorry, I couldn't get a good view on this. This is the best I can do. But this code with the two little leaves, it's so smart. Sometimes you just want your weeds to stay this size. The weeds on my island, oh my god. Let me tell you, my weeds grow like weeds. And I can never get them to stay like this. So you already know I'm going to be snagging that code. Such a great idea. Oh my god, I never thought of that. Wait, whoa, that just confused me for a second. I was like, why is their house so small? Did they not upgrade? But I totally forgot that we have walls now and we can do stuff like this. So this is just a little gardening shed. That is such a good idea. Do we have anything in the basement? So basement and upstairs are not decorated, so we shall carry on. Um, I think we... We're heading this way. Ooh, and this brings us onto the peninsula. Like, um, this is the bougiest peninsula I've ever seen. Ooh, look at her. She's just floating there. How did you do that? If I were to ever have a magical power... No, me first, me first. Sorry, I meant superpower. If I were to ever have a superpower, I would definitely float. What would your guys' superpower be? I think flying is also a really good one. Or teleporting. Or being invisible. Actually, I would like to change my answer, please. I think I would be invisible. I just wanted to float there for a second because I saw somebody else do it and i got fomo does this path lead anywhere oh <gasps> no this looks like a lookout spot ah i love these these are so cool oh <gasps> stunning i love this view i also love that there's a river flowing right in between let's actually go check it out oh Wait, hang on. Imagine this in real life. I feel like something like this does exist. Maybe my standards are just really low. <laughs> like, I do have something like this where I live, but it's not this nice. You know what? Thanks to Animal Crossing, I do get to experience it. Oh yeah, my city does not look like this. <laughs> this is so pretty. Also, I appreciate the clock. Now I know what time it is. It's only 6.20? Why does it feel so late in the morning already? Ah, I know. Daylight savings. Which, by the way, I know was a while ago, but I'm still recovering from it. An hour makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little farm in front of Nooks. Oh, <gasps> wait. Ah ha ha ha. Of course. Gotta use the watering can if it's given to us. I mean, it could have been the golden watering can or something. But this is fun. Okay, so now all thy crops have been watered. We shall move on. Let's see what's on the left side of Nux. <gasps> Do we have a garden shop? Please, 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 please. Whoa, this is huge. Um, uh, may I please upgrade my watering can? I want this one. Or any of the elephants. Any watering can but this watering can. Oh my gosh. This looks like the garden center at Walmart. You have everything here for all of your gardening needs. I'm just trying to exist here and there's people out there doing stuff like this. Please. Ooh, okay, let's go across this bridge and see where it takes us. Oh, is that a little piggy farm? Oh, this is way too cute. Would you guys like some water or cotton candy? I got cotton candy too. So this leads out to the beach. Ooh, I like this little walkway here. This leads out to this big old rock. And the big old rock will lead us to the peninsula. So we'll just head back this way. Gotta stay on the path. Everywhere else is lava. We'll go past the garden center, past nooks, and we'll head up this way. Love these doors. I beg your finest pardon. What? What is happening here? This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the amount of time and effort this must have taken. Even breeding the hyacinths must have taken forever. And I love that it's at an angle. That is just so cool. Ugh, I really need to learn how to do stuff like this. Especially with the diagonal paths. I'm not very good with them. I'm just not advanced enough. If you guys want me to tour something, fine. I'll give you one hell of a tour. I'll give you the tour of your life. But if you want me to build something, be prepared to be very disappointed. 
Ooh, and we're here at Able Sisters. This is very nice. I like that we still use the blue storefronts here, even though it clashes, but somehow it works. Love it. Oh, this town is rich, rich, hey? We got fountains everywhere. And look at this dog here. We even have a bougie breed. This town just screams rich. Everything is just so vibrant and clean. And everyone's yard is just manicured to a T. Oh, and we have another garden here. Time to get to work. Oh, I was just going to say. I knew it was going to happen soon. Oh, that's okay. I'll just take this one. Wait, can I not grab this off the stool? No, I thought you could. And I plucked the flowers. The poor flowers had to sacrifice for my stupidity because I don't know how to play Animal Crossing. I totally thought you could grab that watering can. I'm so sorry. I just ruined everything. Oh, did I just walk into- Hey, there's Daisy. We've been looking for you. I was just saying, did I walk into a neighborhood? Okay, see, everyone's got such a nice yard. Y'all are fancy on this island. So this leads right out into the flower field. Oh my god, who lives here? Because you have the prettiest yard ever. Oh, of course it's Sherb. Sherb is everyone's favorite. I would just take these fences down and make this my entire backyard. And across this way, we have a villager home and the villager is home. Finally, someone's home. Oh, Eric. I did not expect you to have a home like this. No offense or anything, but Eric's original home isn't really the cutest. So this is a nice change for him. And I mean, like, look at that view. Buddy has the whole forest and everything in his backyard. I'm proud of you. You deserve it. Whoa, his yard is huge. I love it. This is really cute. Right beside the river too. You're also in this gated community with a water fountain right in the front. What more can you ask for? Okay, here we go, another resin rep's house. I love the color combo, this is really pretty. Let's uh, creep around her front yard a little bit first before we go inside. Excuse me, ma'am, we talked about this. What do you have to hide? Sorry, if you guys don't know, I am really creeped out by this well. Something just doesn't sit right with me. We covered this in the Halloween Island tour. I know it's not Halloween, but if you haven't seen that video yet, please go check it out. It's a fantastic island. We have a hyacinth garden back here. I would water your flowers for you, but I no longer have a flimsy watering can, which you provide for me so in my defense it's not my fault i will proceed to use this bucket here and try to get water out myself from this water pump oh sorry i can't get around to it eh i tried Ooh, this is very romantic um, it's a little dangerous. Stakes are high here. That leg is literally on the edge of this rock. But you know, it's all about the vibes. Maybe live life on the edge a little. Okay, let's finally go check out this house. Oh, <gasps> stunning. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's very modern and minimalist. This is literally me right now on my island. Except they got cuter stuff. What the heck? I got the bed with the pattern on it. I never seem to get any of the cute starter items. I honestly think Tom Nook just hates me. Oh, and here is the secret beach. And then on the right side here, we have reached the campsite. I love this. You have the bench here where you can sit by the water. And then you have the beach right here. And you're surrounded by all of this nature. Oh my god, sign me up. I want to move here. I also really like this. Like, why is it so aesthetic for camping gear? Again, my standards are very low. Stuff like this impresses me. It doesn't look like this area leads anywhere else, so we'll just head back. I love how the creator made this. How the campsite is only accessible from the resident rep's house. It's almost like if you want to stay here, you got to go through her first. I mean, it makes sense. Her island, her rules. Uh, okay, we were just here. This is where my watering can broke. We're not going to talk about it. We'll just move past it and we'll head on down this way. This is the cutest little park ever. I am so at peace right now. I could sit here forever. But also, whose baby is this? Why is this here? I hope they make a stroller like this in real life life. It's so cute. Your baby just sitting in a woven basket. Like how iconic is that? Oh my god, I just looked at the time and didn't realize that it's already so late in the day. I have a friend coming over later. Yes, I have friends. Well, I have 
a friend. She's coming over for dinner, so I have to start cooking immediately right after this. I'm really trying to connect and socialize more this year. Maybe get out there and make a new friend or two. This is really cool, by the way. I no longer sit at home and play Animal Crossing all day, okay guys? I actually invite my friends over, make them a nice dinner, and then force them to play Animal Crossing with me. Some of them thought it was a silly game, but I got them into it, and now they're obsessed like I am. So everybody wins. Uh, okay. Is everybody and their mother doing big lakes on their islands now? I feel like we've been coming across a lot of lakes in our island tours lately. I mean, I'm not complaining, they're stunning. Sometimes I like to sit on my rocking chair here singing my sorrows away while playing the ukulele and if i'm not feeling that i'll just come over here and do some laundry i like that an incline was sacrificed here to make this Ooh, and the added plank here very nice oh <gasps> jesus take the wheel oh i like the path here that's a nice little detail if anybody needs me this is where i'll be great place to hide from your villagers by the way okay let's get out of here and see what else we got it looks like we might have another villager home. Oh, but they're not home. Dang it. This is Marshall's house. Oh my god. I thought somebody was standing there. Do you guys see that? Almost scared the green socks off of me. Ooh, you don't see this every day. I like the one on the bottom right. I feel like if I was to be a gyroid, I'd be that one. Excuse me. So judgmental. Oh my gosh. I thought Daisy was one of the nice girls. I mean, I'm sure she is. Can't judge a book by its cover, right? Oh, yes, finally. A villager that's home. Oh, I'm loving the vibes. This is so cozy. Wait, what? There is a Brewster gyroid? He's so cute. I want him. Okay, I take it back. If I was a gyroid, I'd be this one. Mitzi also has a blue hyacinth garden. And her house is right beside the beach. Girl, you got a good lot. Oh, and I think she's one of the only villagers that has a car. She's rich, rich. Oh, look at this sign. I think this is supposed to represent blueberries. This is so pretty. Oh, I like the basket here. So it's like you're going berry picking. Oh, now I wish Lolly was home. I feel like she's in charge of the berry picking. And I really want to see what her house looks like. It's okay. I'll just come back another day. That's what I typically do anyways. Especially when I'm looking for some inspiration. I just come back to some of the old islands that I've toured. It's also nice to see the old islands again. Okay, you just know I will be here every day. If this is the community garden, there will be no garden left for the community. I will be taking all of the potatoes, thank you. Ooh, whoa, all of the butterflies just decide to come out. And this path takes us right back to resident services. Ah, I can't believe we're done. I felt like this island tour was just so short, but I guess it'll all have to come to an end eventually. Thank you all for joining me. Why am I sitting like that? That must really hurt. Thank you all for joining me on this island tour today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I will have the creator's social and the dream address linked down below if you want to check it out. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about island submissions. And yes, I do have a link in the description if you want to submit your island for an island tour. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <gasps> I had a dream in the field like this once with all the blue flowers and everything. It was so peaceful and then all of a sudden, while still in my dream, I was shaken up with the sound of the team's ringtone. All of my corporate besties out there know what I'm talking about. It's that ringtone that doesn't leave you. You hear it everywhere you go. And then that's it. I woke up. My magical dream was rudely interrupted by a sound that is equivalent to nails on a chalkboard. Unbelievable.